All right, it is Monday and we are at my little Haven hospice. I went with Brad to drop off the packages and now I'm gonna see if I can find you guys some stuff for resale. So let's go see what we can find. All right, so this thrift store always has this dollar bin of jeans out front. Those were Magellan outdoor jeans, which have done decent for me. And then I saw this pair of apple bottom jeans. You will see later in the video, I do end up coming back for those and you will soon see why. I wish I had grabbed these Hollisters, but I put them back and they were gone when I ended up coming back. So if you guys would like me to put together like some jean boxes, cause I get them for only a dollar. So I would only charge you $2 per pair. Definitely let me know. Cause I have this store as well as another one I can get dollar jeans at. And here now they're increasing even the rack outside up to $1.99. And I kind of just browsed through here, but I didn't see anything that looked overly appealing there. So let's go inside. And I keep hoping they're going to have like some really cool random Halloween stuff, but I didn't see any. Those little boxes look cool, but they were actually pretty cheaply made. So I did skip over those. And then I saw this little apple on the table. It's really cute, but I don't think there would be much resale value. It's just like some Florida Gators fabric, like a handmade little apple tons of costumes tons of costumes if we had gotten them earlier it would have been good now i am looking at the jackets i do always tend to look at their jacket racks just in case there's something that's a good brand but none of these brands really caught my eye and i was not in the mood to look through media this day some days i do but not this day look at this doll this doll's a little creepy that's why i picked her up to show you she just looks a little creepy to me Maybe it's just me. You'll have to let me know. And both of the Native American dolls I looked at last time are gone. I thought about picking those up if they were still here, but they were not. So we are just kind of looking around. As I said last time I went to this store, the store's kind of moved where there's like a little bit of everything everywhere. So you kind of have to dig. I have been picking up Christmas stockings if I see them, but those were plain. And these were really, really modern, so I didn't get those. And then this is like an appliances shelf. Sometimes I will find some hidden gems in here, but I did not today. All right, we're going to peek at the bags. And I will tell you guys, if you find these little dog carriers for a good price, they can be really good sellers. This had a price of $2.99 on the top, but on the side it said $8.99. So I wasn't really sure what the real price was. They do tend to price them up here. So I think it might have been the $8.99 and it did have a rip on the inside. All right, let's look at the collectibles. Now this is cute. Look, it's a little gazing ball. So I'm gonna turn it over. You guys know I have to turn everything over. This little frog was metal. He was kind of cool, but I don't know what you would do with him. So. I did put him back. Now we're going to see if we see any appliances. And if you guys see anything in these videos that I missed, definitely let me know. You will see later. I do go back and look at something that one of you mentioned that I possibly missed the last time I went here. So I do read all the comments. I do respond. And I do look for stuff when you tell me to go back and look at it. And we're just perusing. I don't look super hard at breakables just because we're doing the reseller boxes. But I saw this pillow up here and I absolutely love it. It says rose and it is hand stitched, but it was really lumpy. And then this one, maybe I should have got this one. You guys tell me it was like a carpet pillow and it's a poinsettia and Christmas is coming up. So maybe I should have picked that one up, but I didn't. All right. We're on the hunt again in the collectibles aisle. Just looking to see what we can find. And always again, look up top and look down bottom. That little picture, unfortunately, was not marked. So I did decide to leave that one behind. Hmm. 
little kitty cat again not marked i love this brass bell i think it was priced at like 3.99 though it was marked in china and i haven't really researched whether brass items made in china do well so i just did put that one back this angel was pretty but she was also made in china which is typically less desirable now i like these pink depression salt and pepper shakers but if you notice one of them really had some bad discoloration and this green and gold reminds me of an apilco france piece i picked up i picked up a tea set and it sold for 200 dollars, but that one was not marked and i believe all apilco is marked on the bottom in gold i love that studio pottery picture it was cracked I know I have to look at the bottom of everything. If you are new to my channel, I look at the bottom of everything. And now you see me, even the coffee pot. I look at the bottom. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to miss anything. And sometimes there's marks and names that I might recognize or not recognize. And so I look them up. Linens 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 so this is a florida gator sheet unfortunately it was only the fitted for 299 if this had had a top sheet i actually would recommend picking this set up because they'll typically sell for about 25 upwards of 50 dollars depending on the team and the pattern and that pillowcase was a little more modern now i was thinking if i was going to get you guys a surprise throw blanket but that one had a ton of pilling on it. I don't know if it's pilling or piling. So overwhelming things of fabric. The only thing I kind of hate here is like, this is a balance. If it had been a curtain, I would have picked it up. Um, it is a wrestling one is they put the fabric and the pillowcases and the placemats and the tablecloths all together here. So you literally would probably have to spend an hour or so really digging to find items that weren't pure fabric and i have picked up some fabric if the pattern catches my eye but i didn't see any there there's some yarn but none that looked overly impressive to me i gotta check the bin out and then there's a new cart you always gotta look on the new cart this little copper piece was cool i might should have picked that up it was only 69 cents but i did leave that behind and 90 percent of collector's plates are not worth reselling there are a few i actually did not comp this one out because it was one of the mint companies which means it was probably mass produced and is probably not super in demand this was love and wear i had never heard of that and those actually sell for about 10 to 12 dollars not super bad now this polish I didn't look up either. I was bad. I was not comping a lot this day. I was kind of frustrated. If you see, my buggy is still empty. So I was getting a little discouraged at this point. Now, there is a little more plush than there was last time. This kitty cat, I think, somebody told me they're made to sit like on top of air fresheners. And also, you could use them on top of like toilet rolls and things like that. Um but I was not feeling that kitty cat. I do not know why. When I don't find things, I tend to be a little more pickier because I get frustrated, I think. Is it just me or do you guys get frustrated with that too? I don't know, what, what animal is this? I don't know. This little fox in the back was super cute, but somebody cut the tag off. I feel like that might've been worth money, but the tag was gone. And then, this is a beautiful photograph of an eclectus and it has the feathers, which is pretty cool. So I actually had to move these feathers because I wanted to see what was under there. And it was the artist card. So for 99 cents, I did pick this up. I do think it should sell for about 15 to $20. And it's nice that you have the card and it was signed at the bottom in gold. Let me know if I miss toys, guys. Let me know. Nothing caught my eye here. Now, I did notice up on top, there was this baby blanket and this packaging looks vintage, but unfortunately they wanted $4 and I feel like you could only probably get about 15, but 
what do we see here? This is a really nice looking pair of Keens. And they are only $5.99. So Keens, like Merrell's, have sold really fast, typically in under a week for me, and typically over $50. So that was an amazing find. So now at least we're finding something. We're going to see what else we see. These looked well made and the bottom didn't have much wear. I am not familiar with the brand mushrooms for shoes. So I did look them up and it looks like they sell anywhere from like 12 up to $30. I am going to the solds and the sell through rate is decent on these, but there were none that were super high. So I didn't feel like paying $6 was really appropriate when some only sell for $12. And then I looked up Floorsheim because there were some nice dress shoes up there. And some of these sell really high. I think that's a good brand to kind of be on the lookout for. So you see, though, there's a $17 comp and then $90 and then $70 and then $25. And they were $5.99, so I didn't want to get them. So I actually added the word tassel. And I wanted to see what the comps were on the exact shoes. So there's a pair for 40, but that is with free shipping. And then there was also a pair for 25, a pair for 60. So they were just kind of all over the place and seeing so many in the teens, I decided to put those back up. And we've been getting lucky occasionally with shoes here. I don't know this brand either. It is Tamoda. Not really familiar with those. Those were new, but they looked more cheaply made. I am going to cut in here for a quick commercial. This jewelry lot is still available on my big cartel store, and it's really hard for you to see, but there are some amazing pieces. I didn't have time to get better, but there are some nice bracelet and earring sets. There are some... There are just some really, really nice pieces in here. So this is 46 pieces. I did not count earrings as two pieces. They are counted as one. And I have it up for $93. And really, you only need to sell four pieces at 25 or five at 20, and you will be in the profit. I think this lot should make over $150 to $200 in profit. So if you are interested in that lot, you can go to my big cartel site. At the time I am editing this, it is still available. All right, now we are going to take a look at the purses and see if anything catches our eye. I like this little Las Vegas purse, but it was priced at $8. So I've said it before at the store, they do tend to price up the purses here. And unless I find them in the dollar bin, most times they are a little too high for resale. They wanted $8 for this and it was not branded. If it was summer, those Corona shorts would be a good sale. And those Nautica crab embroidered shorts would be a good sale as well. But we're getting into winter time, so we are going to leave them there. Now in Florida, they'd be good all the time. And we're just checking out some of the little handbags. That one was a cute little lace one, but it was from Claire, so it probably wouldn't sell for very much. So we did decide to leave it there. I like these little upholstery purses. Some of them actually can sell for good money, but they had this, I want to say at like $5, and they only sell for $20 to $30. So that was just a little bit too much. And now... There are gorgeous leather pieces here. There's the leather jacket, there's leather pants, but they wanted $59.99 and then they wanted $39.99. And then look at this, $69.99. Like these are retail prices, it's crazy. I would like to take just a moment to say I really appreciate you watching me. It really does mean a lot. Take a second, hit that thumbs up, leave me a comment below to let me know what you think. And definitely subscribe if you have not subscribed. I really do appreciate you watching. So let's get back to the video. All right, let's go up front. Let's go up front and see if we can find anything else. 
I had to make my cart fit. So this little swan here is cute, but they have it at $9.99. I am getting pretty frustrated at this point. I told you guys I was already frustrated earlier, but I'm finding more and more pieces at or above retail. So this little dish I actually have sold for 25, but they wanted five and there was some wear to the glass. So I did leave that. And then there's a Thai teddy bear. One of the quilts sold, it looks like. There's only one quilt left. These trays, they wanted $5 each. They probably sell for 10 to 15. But then I saw this doll. So this is a geisha and it's in the glass box. I believe it is vintage really cute and it was only a dollar 99 she should sell for 25 to 35 i had to check out the painting but they wanted 19.99 so that geisha girl should make a pretty good profit for somebody checking out the bottles but they want 2.99 for the bottles so i did leave those and that snoopy machine has been there forever so let's see if we see anything else now we have a picture some shoes and a geisha doll not the greatest haul ever. And then I saw this cute little Humpty Dumpty teapot, but it was priced at $19.99. So we are gonna look up this Humpty Dumpty teapot and let's see what it sells for when they want $19.99. Another one, that one was not super impressive. And then I also saw this little egg over here. You're gonna see me comping both of these pieces in a minute. So this egg was priced at $12.99. So let's see what they are worth. Humpty Dumpty teapot that is priced at $19.99. We are going to look for Napco because that is the brand of egg. And the Napco egg is listed at $8. So both of these items, unfortunately, are on sale for more than you could buy them for on eBay, which didn't make me happy. And $300 for some speakers that I couldn't even find a comp for. So I don't know where they're getting their prices. I'm hoping we can find something in the dollar purse bin. But there was nothing... This is kind of a depressing thrift store trip. Thrift store trip, not the thrift store. I really like this bag. This bag, again, is marked at $9.99. So we are going to run some comps again. Let's see what it sells for. All right, so this purse sells for $9.99, our best offer. So the price on the purse was the same as it is on eBay. So now we are at about four or five items that are priced at or above. And I'm just kind of disappointed in it. Now they have some really nice purses here, but they're all priced at $20 to $30. Again, with these Vera Bradleys, that's more than what they sell for on eBay. You can typically get about $20 to $25 for those. So we couldn't get any of those for resale either. I am trying, guys. I am trying. This wallet looked really nice, and I opened it up, and it actually is uh, by 31 brand. And 31 stuff does okay. This is Jewel by 31. But these sell for probably about 15 to 20 and they wanted $6. So with me doubling what I paid to you, that was a little too much, so we put that back. And then I'm going to look in the case just to check. And I saw there's some really nice Joan Rivers watches. So what I wanted to do was look up some comps on Joan River watches. And I didn't know the price on those, but I kind of wanted to be prepared. So the sell-through rate is actually pretty decent. There were 423 listed and 238 sold. So that's not a bad sell-through rate. So what I did was I sort it from highest to lowest. So I can see which watches are selling for the most money. And then I'm kind of looking at the watches in the case to see if I see any of the watches that sell for high money. But unfortunately, 
I did not. So I did decide to leave those there. And then last time, one of you, I do not remember who I'm sorry, pointed out these cat shoes. So these cat shoes are Kate Spade. And I actually picked up the same pair of shoes in South Carolina at a Goodwill with Julian Bearded Thrift Machine. And I paid $5.99. So it says, please see cashier. So I'm calling to her to ask her for assistance. And while she is coming, I am going to look up comps on these shoes. And I need to list mine that I bought. I have not yet. So here I'm looking, you see one comp at 65 free shipping. There were not many listed. I remember when I bought mine, but I took a chance on them. And she is telling me that they are $49.99. So I said, never mind. I was, again, <laughs> really frustrated. And I know you're not always going to find stuff for resale, but when the thrift store has it priced above online prices, that just kind of gets me. So now I'm checking some jewelry. I'm, I'm like grasping at straws here. I have three things in my buggy right now. And I typically, you guys know, I typically can find some good stuff. So at this point, I am looking for anything we can make a profit on, which I do anyways, but looking a little harder. So some of their stuff in the case is reasonably priced. And I do see down on the bottom, there are actually a couple of belt buckles over there. So I am going to have her show me the belt buckles so that I can look and see what the price is on those belt buckles. And I actually didn't know the second was a belt buckle. I thought it was a brooch, but I am asking her to let me see these too. And they both are very, very pretty buckles. So let's look. This one's really pretty with the stone on it. It is not branded and they want $10 for it. Again, close to eBay prices. And this is a buckle that I thought was a brooch. Really, really pretty, but they had $7.99. So I am striking out again. If you think you're the only one it happens to, you are not. We are just perusing through these buttons. They seem like they were all movie buttons. I don't know what the price is on them. I'm thinking probably a dollar, but I like to get these at yard sales for like a quarter and 50 cents. So I did decide to not get any buck buttons. I don't know what that thing was. I never figured out what it was. I was trying to figure it out, but I could not. All right. Over here, I saw a puzzle. And I always look for new sealed puzzles because some of them sell really well. So you can see me. I'm checking to make sure that seal is like an actual seal. And it was sealed. So this one is Memory Lane. Not a brand that I am familiar with. So I am going to try and look up some comps. I was going to try and run the UPC, but it was marked through. So I had to type in Memory Lane Puzzle. And here you can see there are some starting at 99 cents on auction, 255 listed, and there are 65 sold. So it is a slower sell through rate, but it looks like they're only selling some of them for six, some for three, some for 20 free shipping. So that one just was not worth picking up. Now we are back where we started and I saw a pink puppy, but it wasn't Dale's pink puppy. I was really hoping, but I was sad. And then I saw these spreaders they were marked at $5.99 so I decided to look them up and they only sell on eBay for about $14 and free shipping so with doubling you would not be able to make a profit so we did decide to leave those there I would only want to pay about two to three dollars for those so at this point I went and checked out with my three items in the buggy but then I decided to go back for the apple bottom jeans. I'm glad I did. I comped them out and they, they sell pretty good at $25 to $30. So I did pick those up for a dollar. And I'm like, you know, I don't want to only have three items. So I'm going to pick through and at least find a few pairs of jeans. So I, I was looking for those Hollister jeans that were there when I first got there, but I could not find them. I think somebody grabbed them while I was looking around in the store. But 
I did find a couple of pair of Levi's to add to the pile. And those sell at like 15 to 25. So there were some baby fat, but I, I decided to leave those there. I got the pair of apple bottom jeans. And then I also got two pair of Levi's, which should have pretty good resale value. Again, if anyone's interested in boxes of jeans, tell me and I'll look through and get some good branded jeans for $2 to you each. All right. So overall, I did not get much. I got this pair of apple bottom jeans. They were only a dollar. So they'll be $2 to you. These should sell for 25 to 30. I got two pairs of Levi's. These are both Levi's for a dollar each as well. And then this eclectus print i paid a dollar it should sell for like 15 to 20. it is signed by the artist and it has the artist card in the back and then i got this awesome pair of keens keens sell have sold for me for about 50 55 and then this little girl i paid a dollar 99 and she should sell for at least 25 but i would research her because she could sell even higher so overall i spent a whole 12 dollars here so this box is only going to be 24 dollars plus it will probably be i should be able to ship it for about 12 dollars so i think this should be a decent lot also let me know guys i keep coming across these jeans so i said it earlier but let me know if you want me to do like some jean lots because i can get a lot of jeans for a dollar